Simply explained. What is chronic pain? Everyone's familiar with it, but no one likes it. Pain. Having said that, it has a very practical function. It warns us when we are injured, for example, making it essential to our survival. But what if it keeps coming back or never goes away? In such cases, it is known as chronic pain. And yet, what causes pain in the first place? If you hurt your shoulder, for example, information about the pain is picked up by receptors and carried by them to the spinal cord in the form of electrical impulses via nerve fibers. The electrical signal is transmitted to subsequent nerve cells with the help of chemical messengers. This takes place at special junctions in the spinal cord. The messengers stimulate the small sensory cells located at nerve endings. From there, the pain impulses travel up to the brain along nerve pathways. Not until the impulses arrive in the brain can you be aware of the painful part of the body and react to it. The situation is different with chronic pain. Here, pain has lost its signaling function. This happens when acute pain occurs repeatedly. These experiences are stored by the body at several points in the central nervous system in what is known as the pain memory. This pain memory then triggers pain even when there is no acute reason for it. The causes of chronic pain vary. They range from nerve damage, joint wear and tear, viruses and muscle tension to psychological factors. Some of the most common types of chronic pain are back pain and headaches. Painkillers can be taken as treatment because they disrupt transmission of the impulses. Acupuncture and electrical nerve stimulation, as well as muscle relaxation training, cognitive behavioral therapy, and psychoanalysis can also provide relief. In addition to talking to others about the pain, keeping a pain diary can also be helpful. This should also be used to record all the activities that relieve the pain, such as relaxation exercises and sport. If you have further questions about chronic pain, please contact your doctor or pharmacist. Thanks, our farmer. Simply understood.